Hey everybody, my name is Saran. I am a mentor with Southern Word and I'm here today with Studio MPL to talk to you about music and creating music through the Chrome Music Lab. So with this, we will be able to dive into a bunch of different aspects of music, be able to have some interactive spaces for you to click around and just hear some different rhythms, hear some different melodies, and then take what we've learned with rhythm and melody and compile it into an actual loop that you created yourself. So the Chrome Music Lab has a bunch of different modules that talk about sound in very different and unique ways. What we're gonna talk about is three different modules specifically. So we're gonna briefly talk about the song maker, but in order for you to really utilize the song maker to its fullest potential, we're gonna jump over to the rhythm module. And that we're gonna discuss rhythm and how beats work with music discuss a couple of different instruments and different styles of music, and then we're gonna jump over to the Melody Maker. And then from there, once you understand rhythm and once you understand melody, we will then be able to compile that and use that in the Song Maker. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna briefly click on the Song Maker so we can just kind of get an understanding of what it looks like. So as it loads up, it's kind of broken up into different parts. You see a lot of stuff going on. You see these squares up here that when you click, it makes noise that goes up in pitch. Down here at the bottom, you hear different sound effects. You have the play button, a marimba, electronic, tempo. What is all this? This can be super overwhelming, but fear not. This is why we're gonna unpack it. So let's park it here, because this is where we're gonna come back. And let's see by the end of this video how you feel knowing the things that you've learned and how now something that you didn't understand that felt overwhelming now is a bit easier. So as we bounce over to this rhythm module and we click on this and as it loads up, you notice that there are these animated characters and at the bottom there are these three rows with dots and as you click on them, they make different noise and what you're doing is you're setting them up to create a loop and a loop is just when music goes to the end and then starts back at the beginning. And so for this particular loop, we have three different instruments. So if we click right here on the bottom row with the orange dots, you'll notice that the monkey will play the timpani with his left hand. So this is the lower note. Then if we go run one row up, the yellow dots are the right hand of the timpani, which is higher. And then the top row is the triangle with the little monkey. So what you can do is click these notes in different places and then you can place it and then hit the play button and it's going to just jam out. And as you're clicking stuff, you'll notice that to count this out, you can count in threes. And this is common in waltz music. So if you hear one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? And so if we add some different clicks, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good, and you get the idea. Now this arrow to the right, we can click and it brings a whole new set of instruments. So this bottom row, the red one is this tom. And a tom is a big drum on a drum kit. It's not nearly as big as the actual bass drum or the kick drum, but it's probably your bigger drum, your floor tom. It stands up, it has legs on it. And then if you notice the blue drum is the snare drum, and that's kind of what gives it the pop. And then the top one is gonna be the hi-hat. Now specifically, the hi-hat is two cymbals that when you step on them, they're on a pedal and they close, they clamp down. And so when it's open, it has a different sound, but when it's closed, it has a quick t -t -t sound. And that's what you're experiencing when you click here. So without further ado, let's click around and see what we can make. So you press play. Right, and you get the idea. So for this rhythm, we're gonna count in four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four, one, two, three, four, right? And this is common with all popular music, whether you're talking about rock, you're talking about pop, you're talking about hip hop. Typically, the music is gonna be in four, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's go to the last one. So, with the left hand, if you click on the bottom row, this is gonna play the left hand of the congas. Then if you click on the middle row, it's gonna play the right hand of the congas, and then the top is going to be a wood block. And so we can do. And this is gonna be counted uh, with six. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six. This is gonna be really common in a lot of Latin music, whether you're talking about salsa. Now that we've discussed rhythm, we've also discussed a couple instruments. Feel free to bounce between the different styles, the different instrument pairings, and just create some unique, fun rhythms and see what you can come up with. So take a second, pause the video here, and take a few minutes and play around with some different rhythms. And then when you're ready to continue, press play and we'll move on to Melody Maker. All right, so next we are going to move into the Melody Maker. And so when we click on the Melody Maker, we have this screen with just a bunch of big blocks, a play button at the bottom, this square that has an arrow to another square, and then this meter with a guy walking in 120. So at the top, what this is when you click, and as you hear, it's different pitches or different notes with the idea that the notes at the bottom are a lower pitch or a lower note, and the notes at the top are a higher pitch. And so what you can do is you can click on one, go to the next column, click on another one, click on another one, then of course you can hit the play button. And as it loops, you can hear how it goes. So the slider right here is the tempo, and the tempo is how fast or slow a song is. And it's usually measured in BPM or beats per minute. So right now, this is at 102, but if we move this to 149, you notice that it gets faster. So the interesting thing is per column, you can only make one note, but if we click this button that has a square with an arrow and another square, what it does is it creates these ghost notes. And so what you can do with these notes is now you can actually create chords. And what a chord is, is when you have multiple notes playing at the same time. And so if you notice, now we have this feeling and when we press play, Take a second and pause this video, play around with the Melody Maker, make your own melody, and then whenever you're ready, press play so we can resume and go to the Song Maker, where you can take everything that you've learned thus far to make your own personal loop. Perfect. Okay, so we've discussed thus far the rhythm component and the Melody Maker, so now let's jump into the Song Maker. So the song maker has two distinct parts, and let's talk about what you see. So in this top part up here, notice that you have these blocks, Then when you click, you now hear notes just like you did with the Melody Maker. And then these bottom two rows are actually different rhythmic instruments, similar to the rhythm section, right? And next to the play button at the bottom, you have two instruments, so you can change the blocks Right now, that as it plays a marimba, you can make it play a piano or strings, even a woodwind or a synthesizer. And a synthesizer, if you don't know, is an electronic keyboard. So let's go with the marimba for now. And then as we click here, we have electronic drums we have wood blocks. We have a drum kit. 
congas, and then we're back. So in the middle, you have here at the bottom where you can adjust the tempo. Then you have the mic button here. And what this does is it actually allows you to be able to sing notes and it will detect the pitch and plug it in in this top section up here. Then if you click on settings, you have some cool things. So you can change the length of your loop to be four bars or longer, how many beats you want per bar. So remember in the rhythm section how some of them you count one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the standard is typically um, four beats per bar. So let's leave it there. Let's leave the length at four bars, split the beats in two, we'll keep that. The scale, you have the different degrees of the style that the actual notes at the top are gonna be playing. So you have major, pentatonic, and chromatic. Major is just, it's gonna give you a major scale. Um, pentatonic is gonna give you five notes from the scale, and then chromatic is gonna give you every single note, whereas the major scale emits some notes that are not in the actual key. So, the note names you don't see on the block, but you can tell based upon what the note you're starting on. So this one you start on middle C, and then the range tells you how far it's gonna go from C. So if we keep everything the same, and then we click restart, so this note right here is C, and this up here is B, and so what you can do is the same thing. So you're gonna create a melody here, idea and so what you can do with this is you can now put multiple notes in and create chords and you can have some fun or you can actually draw pictures and then see how that sounds So you have some different things that you can play with here. And then once you get here, you can actually click save and it gives you a link for you to be able to come back to your beat and to listen to it. Or you can download the MIDI notes or the WAV file. And so from there, you can take this and if you have an actual program or an actual digital audio workstation, you can import this to be able to continue to build and expand. Despite the fact that you're not able to create entire songs in the Chrome Music Lab, it does give you the space to be able to work with different elements of sound to learn more so that when you have other gear, you can actually put this um, information into practice to build your very own track, whether it's a beat or whether it's a song that you put words on or an instrumental. So this has been a crash course in using the Chrome Music Lab with Studio NPL. Again, my name is Spran. Thank you. And take some time, play around with this, and I'm excited to see the creations that you make. Thank you.